Radical empathy. I'm always amused when I hear the technologists talk about the hunt for virtual reality, because it turns out virtual reality was invented hundreds of years ago. It's called the novel. Um, fiction can bypass your self-defense in a way that the journalism and the media cannot. So when you watch the news and you're seeing the kind of things that are in Prophet Song on the news, your self-defenses are up. Fiction works around those self-defenses. And I write in the present tense to completely immerse the reader within a reality that they feel for themselves as if they have lived it and they will remember it within the body. The style of Prophet Psalm. Well, every book requires a form in which the meaning of the book must be held. And I've never written with quotation marks because I think it's lazy. I think it forces writing without them forces writers to really tune into the, the, the speech of a character. But this book doesn't have paragraph marks. And there is a very distinct reason for that. Eilish Stack in this book has nowhere to turn. She is caught up in the unfolding sense of inevitability that is occurring. She's been shaped by these enormous forces. And so as she moves through her life, trying to make one decision after another, she's being completely shunted forward. There's nowhere to turn, nowhere to breathe. Therefore, there should be no white space. The influence of cinema on my fiction, you know, it's a chicken and egg question for me. Was I attracted to cinema because of a very visual imagination, or is it the case that my uh, that you know that I've been deeply influenced by cinema? It's probably a mixture of both. Um, I think the thing about cinema is that it's deeply influenced modern fiction in the way that uh, you know early cinema was influenced by the Victorian novel, and I. I I, I see what I write, I see it as if I'm a director, as if it's a movie camera, and I love the ability to make the reader see what I do, and so I chase images, that's what I do as a writer. Why does Ireland have the best novelists? Can I let you into a little secret? I think the South Americans have the best novelists. I think I think the South Americans have been producing meta metaphysical writing that's an extraordinary caliber for the last uh, 60, 70 years. But Ireland does seem to have a lot of great writers. I think that, I think there's one thing that, that the great writers that we've had in the past have done is that writers like Beckett or, jo or Joyce, actually, they don't just produce great works of literature. They actually sort of transmit into the culture a massive energy that, that, that we, that, transmits into into the future and we're still drawing on that whether we re whether we realize it or not these are writers who are you know reaching towards the caliber of shakespeare and so that kind of energy carries for for decades and we're all we're all still drawing off that is prophet song a dystopian novel you know, what I wanted to do with this book was to dismantle the form of the dystopian novel. I've always been suspicious that the dystopian sometimes can be a little bit too paper, pep, papier mache. And I wanted to deepen the dystopian to the point that is actually the real. And, it's, you know, at some point, the, the, the creator will ask themselves, what, the speculative that's going on in this book actually isn't speculative at all it's actually going on in the world somewhere right now and we we know this it's actually it is actually happening right now and so the, such a book cannot be speculative speculative at all it's 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 actually realism why sit the book in 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 ireland and is it a warning of sorts George Satyana said that a prophet cannot be conceived as anything other than a person of imagination whose vision, visions mirror the truth. Um, prophet Song is a work of imagination. It's a dream, a symbol that holds in its grasp a mirror image of the world around us. And what happens elsewhere can always happen here. Is it a political warning? Um, a political book even? It, it could be read that way, but it, 
you know, if I'd set out to write a book about a problem that could be solved, I would be hearing a grievance. And that's not the hallmark of art. Uh, it's the calling card political. What this book holds in its grasp are what you said as always, life and death, loss, powerlessness, uh, the unwanted lights to knock on our door, uh, you know, how the fates cast us around like dust. <laughs>